Uh, hello friends, in this uh, particular video, I am solving a query sent by a student. Uh, we have to find out the unit digit of this expression that is 7 raised to 83 plus 5 raised to 84, 6 raised to 85 and 8 raised to 88. Now you must be knowing that any power of 5, it will end in 5 only. Any power of 6, that will end in 6 only. So that's 5 and that's 6 that is confirmed, right? Now there are 4 numbers, 2, 3, 7 and 8. They follow the cyclicity of 4, right? You must attend the basic session of unit digit so cyclicity of 4 uh, they follow right that means 2 raised to 4x 2 raised to 4x plus 1 2 raised to 4x plus 2 and 2 raised to 4x plus 3 right so 2 raised to 4x will always end in 6 it will always end in 2 it will always end in 4 it will always end in 8 right so it is 6, 2, 4, 8. Uh, not uh, only for 2, all even number except 0 when raised to power 4, they will always end in 6. Okay. Similarly, if we talk about 3 raised to 4x, 3 raised to 4x plus 1, 3 raised to 4x plus 2, 3 raised to 4x plus 3, it will end in 1, it will end in 3, it will end in 9, it will end in 7. Right. Similarly, if we talk about 7 so 7 raised to 4x 7 raised to 4x plus 1 7 raised to 4x plus 2 7 raised to 4x plus 3 it will end in 1 it will end in 7 9 and 9 into 7 63 that's 3 right and uh, 8 raised to 4x 8 raised to 4x plus 1 8 raised to 4x plus 2 8 raised to 4x plus 3. It will end in 6. It will end in 8, 4, 2. Okay. So, this very simple. Now, what you have to do? 7 raised to 83. 83 divided by 4. That is a 4x plus 3 format. Because if you divide 83 by 4, you will get 3 as the remainder. So, it is 4x plus 3 format. So, 7 raised to 4x plus 3, it will end in 3. You just write 3 over here. Right? Then, uh, 8 raised to 88. 88 is 4x format. So, 8 raised to 4x will end in 6. Write 6 over here. Okay? So, unit digit of this expression will be 3 plus 5, 8. 8 plus 6, 14. 14 plus 6, 20. So, unit digit of this will be 0. Right? So, that's pretty simple. Now, my dear friend, I just explain the confusion that you are having in your mind. What you are doing is 8 raised to 88 is equal to 8 raised to 22. What you are doing is you are dividing 88 by 4 and you are getting 8 raised to 22. Then you are dividing this 22 by 4 and you are getting 8 raised to 2. And then you are finding the unit digit of 8 square that is 4, right? The very first mistake that you are doing is 8 raised to 88 equal to 8 raised to 22 equal to 8 square is 64. It's wrong because 8 raised to 88 is not equal to 8 raised to 22. And further, that is not equal to 8 square. That is the first mistake that you are doing, right? You should not do this. The second mistake that you are doing is you are dividing 88 by 4 and you are writing 8 raised to 28. In the first case, from here, from this point to this point, you are writing down the quotient, right? 88 divide by 4 is 22 that's quotient and from this to this case 22 divide by 4 you are writing down the remainder so somewhere quotient somewhere remainder it's not correct mathematics right so you should be logically clear and you have to follow the same pattern everywhere right so since the first step itself is wrong that 8 raised to 88 is 8 raised to 22 first step itself is wrong that's why you are getting 4 as the unit digit right so what you have to do 8 raised to 88 is 8 raised to 4x format okay and if it is 8 raised to 4x format it will end in 6 without any confusion right so precisely what you have to do whatever is the power you are having convert them to 4x uh, format see whether it is 4x 4x plus 1 4x plus 2 and 4x plus 3 according to that you will be getting the unit digit right so just be very clear with the concept that's really simple and good number of questions based on unit digit are frequently asked in examinations okay now i am sure you uh, must be clear about it okay